okay, so this is from Angels in America, and this is where her husband comes home, and she confronts him after many nights of him coming home late. Turn off my camera. Here we go. Ready, and action. Where were you? Out. Where? Just, just stop thinking. It's late. I had a lot to think about. Yeah, well, I burned dinner. Sorry? Not my dinner. Uh, my dinner was fine. Your dinner. I, I put it back in the oven and I turned everything up as high as it could go. And I watched till it turned black. Still hot. Very hot. You want it? You didn't have to do that. I know, it just seemed like the kind of thing a mentally deranged, sex-starved, pill-popping housewife would do, so... Mm -hmm. I did it. Who knows what I have to do anymore? How many pills? <laughs> a bunch. Don't change the subject. I'm not going to talk to you when you're... No, no. <laughs> Don't start. I am fine. The pills are not the problem. The pills are not our problem. I want to know where you've been. I want to know what's going on. Going on with what? The job? No, not the job. I said I need more time. Not the job. Mr. Khan, I talked to him yesterday Shut and he said that I had to hurry and- Shut up. But I can't get you to talk sensibly about anything, so- then Stick what? To the subject, okay? I don't know what that is. You have something you want to ask me? Ask me. Go. I, I, I can't. I'm, I'm scared of you. I'm going to bed. I'm, I'm tired. And Tell me, please, without this, making me ask. This is crazy. All right? I'm not going to do this. I'm... Scene. Okay. Good job, you guys. Way to go. Yay. Yeah, way to go. Finally went there, Starla. Sorry, what did you say? You said you finally went there. I did. <laughs> yeah. So this is a scene from Angels in America. And is this um where which part is this? You guys this is, is just in, right in the middle. Right in the oh. middle where you guys have uh, kind of get heated. Yeah. You, it's it's getting heated between the two of you and you kind of started really confronting him about, you know, coming home late and, and the story is about like this Mormon character who has closeted homosexual and his wife is on opioids and becoming high on, you know, becoming a drug addict and suspic suspicious of him. And this is the night she confronts him about, you know, his sexuality. Is that is that fair to say? And yeah. And you've just come home late a, a, another night because you were with some guy probably like in a park or something. Right. So, um, and, and the scene starts mid-argument. Yeah? Yeah. Correct. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off my video. And what I would like you to do, because we are mid-argument, um, I'm gonna ask you to maybe do a little exercise just for yourself. And I want you to start panting and breathing heavy and fast so that you are lightheaded and dizzy. And once you're there, I want you to raise your hand. And what, before you do that, emotionally, what would you say is going on with you, Starla? What would you say you're feeling right now in the uh, part of the scene? My heart's starting to pound. Yeah, would... are you, are, but if you were to describe the feeling, is it sort of a sense of being freaked out? Are you angry or are you hysterical? Angry. You're angry. I'm angry and hysterical, I think. So, like, do you have a connection to that as Starla, that feeling? Yeah. And what would you call that feeling if you gave it a name? Ooh. 
You can give it any name you want. It could be, you know, anything. It could be blood curling anger. It could just be anger. It could be, I'm fucking pissed. I mean, whatever you feel like is going on like with you. I feel like it's in a, uh, a volcanic, uh, I don't know, eruption. Eruption. Sorry. So you're like, it's a volcano. It's like sort of a, <laughs> a, vol a volcanic eruption kind of vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Jet, how about you? Um, I believe I, I've got a lot of hysteria going on yeah. all over the place. I'm, Can you get connected to that as Jet? Yeah. Like when you've been in that state? All right. So I'm going to ask you guys to do this exercise where I want you to inhale and exhale. And Starla, after you exhale, you're going to be like saying something along the lines of volcanic eruption or anger or I'm fucking pissed. And you're going to do the same thing with hysteria. Oh, so, I'm going to actually say that? Yeah, you're actually going to say it out loud because the, the, the speaking of the word is going to get you charged because we're going to just do this right before we start the scene. So do that. And I'm not going to start you until you guys are lightheaded and dizzy. So you're going to be breathing in and out like you're panting, Starla. So in and out and say the name of whatever you're feeling. Go ahead, Starla. I want to hear it. Oh, volcanic eruption. Good. Yes, that's fine. Pissed off, volcanic eruption. Keep breathing yeah. heavy. I'm losing it. Could be another one. Whatever, whatever resonates for you, Starla. Keep doing it. Keep breathing heavy and say the word. Say the word, Starla, and I want to see you breathing in and out, like you're panting, like you're running really fast. Okay, say the word, Starla. Say it a couple times. Volcanic eruption. Volcanic eruption. Yeah, okay, keep breathing heavy and fast, and raise your hand when you guys are lightheaded. Okay, so let's raise his hand. Are you there? Okay, keep breathing heavy. Now, when I say action, don't worry about breathing heavy. Just play off each other. Here we go. Ready? No more breathing heavy and just receive. Just listen. Action. This is crazy. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do it Can you anymore. walk through the door? Your face, it's never exactly the way I remembered it. I get surprised by something like mean and hard about the way that you look. Even... The weight of you in the bed at night, the way that you breathe, it, it just feels so unfamiliar. You terrify me. I know who you are. Yes, I'm the enemy. That's easy. That doesn't change. You think you're the only one that hates sex? I do. I hate it. With you, I do. I dream that you batter away at me till my joints come apart like wax and I fall into pieces. It's like a punishment. It was wrong of me to marry you. I knew you. It's a sin and it's killing us both. I can always tell when you've taken your pills because you're red faced and you're sweaty. And frankly, that's quite often why I don't want to hold you. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to do anything with you. I just, because. I just, well, you aren't pretty, not like this. I have something to ask you. Then ask, ask. What in the hell do you want to ask me? Are what you, you homo? Me? Are you? And if you try to walk out this door right now i swear to god i'll put your dinner back in the oven and this whole building will fill with smoke and everyone in it will associate i swear to god fucking answer the question what if i then tell me and we'll see no i'm not and i don't see what difference it makes I think we ought to pray. Ask God for help. Let's ask him together. God won't talk to me. You have, I to, have keep, to make people up you to You have to, to keep me. asking. Oh, yeah. I forgot the question. God is my husband a fucking homo? Stop it. I'm warning you. All right? Look, does it make any difference that, that I might be one thing from deep within? Whether that's, that's, that's wrong and ugly? So long as I, as, I, as I have fought to kill it with everything I have. What do you want from me, Harper? What do you want? 
More than that? I, I'm a shell. I have nothing left to kill. So long as my behavior is what I know it has to be. Decent. Correct. That alone in the eyes of God. No. No. That's Utah talk. That's Mormon talk. Joe, I hate it. Say it. Tell me. All I have to say is that I'm a very good man who has worked very hard to become good. And you're trying to destroy that. You're trying to destroy me. And I won't let you do that. I'm going to have a baby. Liar. You're a liar. A baby born addicted to pills. A baby who doesn't dream but who hallucinates and looks up at us with big mirror eyes and doesn't even know who we are. Are you really? No. Yes. No. Yes, get away from me. Now we both have a secret. Scene. All right. Very good. Nice job. You guys are done with that section. Way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go. Way better. Way better. So what, what did it feel like for, for you guys to do it this way with this, this sort of exercise in the beginning? Oh, wow. I mean, that definitely helped. And I think, I don't know, Jet, how did you feel? Oh, well, I'll be honest with you. I started doing the breathing before I started. The oh, okay. So you're already there. All right. Because well, I just, I, I knew if I had to, I knew for me to kind of get there emotionally, I needed that. Right. So, I mean, it helps I'm so much, especially well, for something like that. Well, yeah, because you're, it's also really, because you're kind of starting mid, mid argument. So it helps. It's yeah. Not, it, it's, and it it's not required. You guys, it's not required. It's just, it's another tool. And it's not something you have to do every time you have. It's just another tool. And and I, I was thinking maybe we should have Starla do this because you're still new and you should experience it. So you kind of know, yeah. you know what it feels like to start the scene charged like that compared to not. Yeah, not and charged. it will definitely help too. Like you said, if I'm on set and they're asking to reset, we got to do it again and it's a different angle. It'll be easier to to get back into it. So what do you guys want to do with the scene now? Did, did you want to put it together or are you, you know, I, I, what, are your, what are your thoughts? Because I know you did it in two pieces, didn't you? Yeah. Um, Lots of- Darla, good. I'm going to let you make that call. I'm fine either way, okay? So please just don't hesitate to make the call in whichever way you want to go with it. Please. Honestly, I kind of feel like- it, it would be a little more, it, I feel like it would be burnt out to do the whole thing. Yeah. I feel like yeah. this part was the biggest part and this was the most challenging. And I think that mm -hmm. now that we've finally got to that point, I think that we should move on to something. I'm okay with that. Is Jed, are you okay with that? I am. Yeah. All right. I mean, no, no problem. I mean, you guys pulled a lot from it. So mm -hmm. yeah. Way to go. Yeah, just sort of enjoy the win. And, you know, Starla, I think that um, we learned a lot about you. I, at least I learned a lot about you and your emotional range. And I still think we have- I still think I could have pushed it a little more, but- Well, I, but like, know. it's kind of like going to the gym, right? Like yeah. you need to, that Yeah, and you need to go repeatedly. And here's, here's what I can tell you is that when I do a play, uh, I don't do much theater. I don't do theater anymore. I used to. But when I did plays, you know, and we rehearsed a play and I would do the play many, many times, um, I found that after doing it many times, there were these new things that I discovered yeah. that I didn't even see before because I was so familiar with the material. And it just, it couldn't happen before. I don't know why. It just didn't. Like all yeah. these new things. And, and it was just like, oh my God, that's such a great moment that I could play there. And so 
it's the rehashing and the working of the scene or the play that brought me there. And that's through exercising it and time. Right. That's why it's so important to know and that, you know, Robert De Niro goes to class when he's not working as an actor. Right. Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt does the same. It's like going to the gym and you cannot just go to the gym when you compete. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons you're here is mm -hmm. to keep your muscles working. So when the auditions come in, you are on it. Okay. Yes. And you're pushing yourself too. So yes, I certainly think that eventually we're going to take you to new emotional places. We, we're going to teach you more about not recovering in a scene and more about digging even deeper and how far can you go? And I would even say the same to you, Jeff, like how far, not even with this scene, but like how far can Jet go? Like when you said that line about my Michelle, is it possible that you could look like somebody who's like made out of glass, like a shell glass gel that's like empty? And if mm -hmm. I just pushed it, it would crumble. Like, can you get there? And it's possible that you can, I'm sure. So we just keep, but in order for us to kind of get to that space, we need to do what we did tonight. Mm -hmm. So again, it's like going to the gym, okay? And, you know, we put a certain amount of weight on the bench press and we conquer it and then we add more weight and then yeah. more and then more. And then more. So yeah. good job.